everyone welcome back to GK today i am Nidhi Sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 23rd of december 2022 let's start with our session which country is the host of the united nations biodiversity conference cop 15 so united nations biodiversity conference or you can say cop 15 was recently organized in montreal canada okay and the governments from around the world are convened to agree to a new set of goals for the nature over the next decade and uh, finally the negotiators at a united nations biodiversity conference reached to an agreement which actually seeks to spend 200 billion dollars towards supporting the biodiversity by the end of 2030 okay so three things are important from this question first of all canada is the host of cop15 then second this figure is important they have agreed to spend 200 billion dollars to save the biodiversity by the end of which year so it is 2030 okay next is which country is the fifa world cup champion in the year 2022 so recently argentina became the fifa world cup champion by beating the country france okay and uh, finally argentina lifted the fifa world cup title for the third time so you have to remember three points first of all argentina is the winner of fifa world cup then argentina has defeated the country france means the france was the runner up and this was argentina's third trophy okay next is sela pass tunnel which was seen in the news recently is located in which particular state so the sela pass tunnel is being built by the border roads organization why to provide an all weather connectivity to the china border in the state of arunachal pradesh okay and this tunnel is being built at a height of 13000 feet and it will give the indian army access to the line of actual control near tawang okay so correct answer would be arunachal pradesh next is raitu bandhu is a flagship scheme of which indian state or the union territory so this scheme is being implemented by the state of telangana and the government offers the crop investment to the farmers through this program at a rate of 10000 rupees per acre for both kharif and the rabi seasons okay and the state government would deposit 7600 crore rupees in the bank account of the farmers by the month of january this year means by 2023 before the sankranti festival okay so only thing relevant is raitu bandhu is a scheme from the state of telangana next is as per the united nations nature deal what percent of the planet is sought to be protected by 2030 so united nations nature deal has recently proposed the calls to protect at least 30% of the planet by the year 2030 so it is easy to remember 30% by 2030 and at present just 17% of terrestrial and 10% of marine areas are protected only okay so the proposal called on the rich countries 
to increase their financial aid to the developing world to 20 billion dollars annually by the year 2025 and finally it rises to 30 billion dollars per year by the year 2030 so as to save their ecosystem fine so it is proposed that 30 percent of the planet should be protected by 2030 now apart from it several small island developing states have agreed to form the coalition for nature why for the implementation and adoption of the global biodiversity framework at the COP15 to the convention of biological diversity right and this coalition is being led by Cabo Verde Samoa and the country Seychelles okay so the goal of the coalition is to advocate for common SIDS priorities and the needs such as greater means of implementing the biodiversity objectives in these places okay so you can be asked that what is the name of the coalition recently formed at COP15 which is led by Cabo Verde, Samoa and the country Seychelles so you can be given the options like coalition for nature coalition for developing states then coalition for biodiversity and uh, last option is coalition for climate so the correct answer would be coalition for the nature fine next is Sargam Kaushal who was named Mrs. World 2022 is from which country this question is very very important and I'd like to give it a three star so Indian contestant Sargam Kaushal was named as Mrs. World 2022 beating the contestant from 63 countries to bring the title back to India after 21 years and uh, Mrs. World 2021 who was that? Shailen Ford from the country USA she presented the crown to Sargam Kaushal who is from Mumbai okay also you have to remember Mrs. Polynesia was named the first runner-up and then she is followed with Mrs. Canada as the second runner-up in the event okay correct answer would be India you can also be asked it who is Mrs. World 2022 so the name is also important it is Sargam Kaushal from the city of Mumbai from the country India right and we have earned this title after 21 years next you can be asked about the first runner-up so this is Mrs. Polynesia okay next is which state is the host of the Baikal International Beach Festival so this festival is set to begin from 24th of December in the state of Kerala and more than 2 lakh tickets already being sold out for the event so Chief Minister of Kerala Mr. Pinray Vijayan is set to inaugurate this 10 day festival that captures the district's cultural and artistic uniqueness and also it displays the rich cultural diversity of the country so here correct answer would be Kerala state so Bikal International Beach Festival is hosted by the Kerala next is the Great Barrier Reef is located in which country it is very easy question I think so the Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef system and it is located in Australia so scientists working on Australia's Great Barrier Reef have recently successfully trialed a new method for freezing and storing the coral larva okay and as per the scientist this could help to rebuild the reefs which are actually threatened by the climate change so this great barrier reef has suffered four bleaching events in the last seven years including the first ever bleach during a La Nina phenomena right so it lies in Australia next is which country pushed for a new and dedicated fund to help the developing countries to reverse the biodiversity loss in the UN biodiversity conference so India recently pushed for a new and dedicated fund to help the developing countries so as to reverse the biodiversity loss in the United Nations biodiversity conference and also India said that there is an urgent need to create this new fund 
to help the developing countries so that they can successfully implement a post 2020 global framework okay and also it said that conservation of biodiversity must be based on cbdr what is this common but differentiated responsibilities and respective capabilities okay once again common but differentiated responsibilities and respective capabilities okay so your correct answer would be india next is which state is the host of the india energy week 2023 so prime minister narendra modi will inaugurate the india energy week 2023 event in karnataka in the month of february next year okay and around 10000 delegates from india and other countries will attend this particular event that will include the discussions over energy production and the policies so bangalore which has the most number of research and development centers has been chosen to host this particular event okay so here correct answer would be karnataka so which state is the host of india energy week 2023 which is to be held in the month of february so answer would be karnataka state now also you have to remember that on 19th of december 1961 the then indian prime minister jawaharlal nehru sent the armed forces to the coastal state and the portuguese surrendered there so as a result goa daman and diu became the union territories of india right so goa liberation day is celebrated annually to mark the success of operation vijay of the indian armed forces to defeat the portuguese colonial forces and liberate goa finally in 1961 okay so you can be asked that goa liberation day is observed in which particular month so this is the month of december okay next is as per the recent data what is the gross direct tax collection up to december 2022 in this fiscal so the gross direct tax collection have grown 26 percent to over 13.63 lakh crore rupees so far this fiscal as per the cbdt cbt's central board of direct taxes so the growth in tax is due to tds detection and healthy corporate advanced tax mop-up okay and finally after adjusting for the refunds the net direct tax collection so far this fiscal stands at 11.35 lakh crore rupees which is around 80 percent of the full year budget target okay so your correct answer would be 13.63 lakh crore rupees so this figure is also very important you have to remember it next question says central consumer protection authority was established in which particular year so it has been established with effect from 24th of july 2020 and this authority was actually formed on the basis of the consumer protection act 2019 so why it is in news because recently central consumer protection authority has sent the notices to e-commerce players like flipkart and misho.com why for gross violation of the norms related to the sale of asset on their platform okay so this authority was formed in the year 2020 now next question is as per the south korea and japan which country has fired two medium range ballistic missile towards the korean peninsula so according to south korea and japan north korea has fired two medium range ballistic missiles towards the sea of the east coast of korean peninsula and the launches were fired about 50 minutes apart and the missiles flew to an altitude of 550 kilometers and both these missiles covered a range of 250 kilometers okay so according to these two countries means south korea and japan north korea has fired the two medium range ballistic missiles okay next is emission trading system is associated with which particular organization 
so european union member states and parliamentarians agreed on a major reform to the blocks carbon market or you can say emission trading system okay so this deal basically means emissions in the ets sectors are to be cut by 62% by the year 2030 based on 2005 levels means this 62% has to be reduced in compared to the 2005 data okay and then previous goal was 43% and the agreement aims to reduce the emissions and encourage the investment in the climate friendly technologies okay so you have to remember that emission trading system means ets is associated with the european union next is which footballer won the golden boot award in the fifa world cup 2022 actually lionel messi from Argentina has clinched the golden ball award for the best player at the FIFA World Cup 2022 while Kylian Mbappe took the golden boot for being the top scorer okay so also you have to remember that Emiliano Martinez from the country Argentina also won the golden glove for being the best goalkeeper and already we have discussed that argentina has defeated the country france to win this world cup okay next is which city is the chair of urban 20 events to be held in india as part of its g20 presidency so chief minister of gujarat mr bhupendra patel recently launched the urban 20 logo website and social media handles so finally ahmedabad got the chairmanship of urban 20 events on urban development which is to be held under the g20 summit so india officially assumed the g20 presidency on december 1st 2022 as we know and talking about urban 20 it is a city diplomacy initiative that brings together different type of cities from g20 member states under a common framework so as to discuss the global economic climate and development issues okay so correct answer would be ahmedabad next is what is the rank of india in the global ranking in scientific publications as per the nsf science and engineering indicators 2022 report so as per this particular report india has jumped from 7th to now third position in the scientific publication and this was informed by the union minister for science and technology dr jitendra singh so basically india's scholarly output has increased 60555 papers in 2010 to 149213 papers in 2020 okay so only thing you have to remember is what is the rank of india in this particular report so answer would be third and last question says Which sports person has been named as the BBC Sports Personalities World Sport Star of the Year for 2022? So Lionel Messi from Argentina has been named as BBC Sport Personalities World Sport Star of the Year for this year, and also he won the tournament's Golden Ball, which is awarded to the best player, and uh, he scored seven goals. at his fifth world cup okay so this question is extremely important you have to remember it correct answer would be lionel messi so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and now we'll come to our revision section which three categories we are covering today so first of all we'll see important winners that were in news in different different sectors then second we'll talk about important cities and at last at the third we will discuss things that have been recently inaugurated okay so let's start with the winners that were in news which team won the fih women's nations cup 2022 in valencia spain so correct answer would be india and india has defeated the country spain to win this cup okay and the host for this event was also spain 
विच इंडियन प्लेयर वन द टेन थाउजेंड डॉलर जूलियस बेयर चैलेंजर चैंपियनशिप इन टेल अबीव सो द विनर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर चैंपियनशिप इज प्रेगनंदा आर विच इंडियन वन द सिल्वर मेडल एट द वेट लिफ्टिंग वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप सो रिसेंटली मीरा बाई चानू हैज वन द सिल्वर मेडल एट द वेट लिफ्टिंग वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप एंड दैट वॉज हेल्ड इन द कंट्री कोलम्बिया ओके एंड हु हैज वन द गोल्ड मेडल एट दिस चैंपियनशिप दिस इज जियांग हुई हुआ ओके एंड शी इज फ्रॉम द कंट्री चाइना सो दिस वॉज मीरा बाई चानूज सेकेंड मेडल एंड शी वन द गोल्ड मेडल इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन अर्ड ईयर विच कंपनी वन द बिड फॉर द रेनोवेशन ऑफ धरावी विच इज द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट स्लम कॉलोनी इन एशिया सो दिस बिड हैज बीन वन बाय द अदानी प्रॉपर्टीज एंड विद अदानी प्रॉपर्टीज टू अदर कंपटीटर्स वर डी एल एफ एंड श्री नमन डेवलपर्स ओके विच मिनिस्ट्रीज पैवलियन वन द आउटस्टैंडिंग कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टूवर्ड्स द पब्लिक कम्युनिकेशन एंड आउटरीच एट इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड फेयर दिस इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर ट्रेड फेयर वॉज कंडक्टेड एट न्यू डेल्ही विच कंट्री वन द डेविस कप टाइटल इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो डेविस कप टाइटल वॉज वन बाय कैनेडा एंड कैनेडा हैज डिफीटेड द कंट्री ऑस्ट्रेलिया टू विन दिस कप ओके हु वन द पैरा स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन ऑफ द ईयर अवार्ड एट द टूर्फ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इवेंट दिस इज अवनी लिखारा एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस इवेंट यू हैव टू ऑल्सो रिमेंबर दैट सरकार तलवार हैज बीन ऑनर्ड विथ लाइफ टाइम अचीवमेंट ऑफ द ईयर अवार्ड देन देर इज श्रे कदियन एंड ही वॉज द स्पेशल स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन ऑफ द ईयर ऑल्सो उड़ीसा स्टेट वॉज अनाउंसड एज द बेस्ट स्टेट फॉर प्रमोटिंग स्पोर्ट ओके विच टेनिस प्लेयर वन द ए टी पी फाइनल्स मैन सिंगल टाइटल इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू दिस इज नोवाक जोकोविच हु इज फ्रॉम द कंट्री सर्बिया ओके नेक्स्ट विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंट सिटीज इंडिया सिक्स वंदे भारत ट्रेन वॉज इनोग्रेटेड बिटवीन नागपुर एंड विच पर्टिकुलर सिटी सो इंडिया सिक्स वंदे भारत ट्रेन वॉज इनोग्रेटेड बिटवीन नागपुर एंड बिलासपुर नागपुर लाइज इन महाराष्ट्र एंड बिलासपुर लाइज इन छत्तीसगढ़ सो दिस ट्रेन वुड बी ऑपरेटेड बाय साउथ ईस्ट सेंट्रल रेलवे विच सिटी इज सेट टू होस्ट द इंडिया इंटरनेशनल साइंस फेस्टिवल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो दिस फेस्टिवल वुड बी होस्टेड बाय भोपाल इन द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड दिस इज द इनिशिएटिव ऑफ टू मिनिस्ट्रीज फर्स्ट इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड सेकेंड इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ अर्थ साइंसिस विच इंस्टीट्यूशन डेवलप्ड एंड ओशन वेव एनर्जी कन्वर्टर दैट कैन जनरेट द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फ्रॉम द सी वेव्स दिस इज आई आई टी मद्रास एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर कन्वर्टर हैज बिन डिप्लॉयड एट द स्टेट ऑफ तमिलनाडु रिसेंटली नेक्स्ट इज विच सिटी इज द होस्ट ऑफ द ओपनिंग सेरेमनी फॉर द इंटरनेशनल ईयर ऑफ मिलेट्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट द इंटरनेशनल ईयर ऑफ मिलेट्स इज द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड रोम इज द होस्ट फॉर इट्स ओपनिंग सेरेमनी इंडियाज फर्स्ट गोल्ड ए टी एम हैज बीन इनोग्रेटेड इन विच इंडियन सिटी सो इंडियाज वेरी फर्स्ट गोल्ड ए टी एम हैज रिसेंटली बीन इनोग्रेटेड इन द सिटी ऑफ हैदराबाद विच सिटी इज द होस्ट ऑफ टेक्नो टेक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री विच इज इंडियाज प्रीमियर शो ऑन टेक्निकल टेक्सटाइल सो दिस सिटी इज मुंबई विच सिटी इन्वोक्ड द स्टेज थ्री ऑफ रिवाइज्ड ग्रेडेड रिस्पॉन्स एक्शन प्लान टू टैकल द पॉल्यूशन सो सिंस द एयर क्वालिटी इंडेक्स ऑफ न्यू डेल्ही वॉज डिटेरियोरेटिंग डे बाई डे सो दैट्स वाई दे हैव टू इंट्रोड्यूस द स्टेज थ्री ऑफ द ग्रेडेड रिस्पॉन्स एक्शन प्लान ओके सो यर करेक्ट आंसर वुड बी न्यू डेल्ही ऑल्सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट रिसेंटली द स्टेट ऑफ वेस्ट बंगाल हैज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड द ग्रैप इन इट्स स्टेट विच सिटी इज द होस्ट ऑफ the first g20 sherpa meeting held in india this is very famous city it is udaipur and this question is very important it is three star question okay now at last we'll talk about important and the recent inaugurations which country inaugurated its first liquefied natural gas terminal so recently germany has introduced its first liquefied natural gas terminal why 
because they do not want to depend on Russia for their fossil fuel imports. Okay. Basically, you can say that Germany wants to be self-dependent. ICMR National Animal Resource Facility for Biomedical Research has been inaugurated in which Indian city? So this resource facility for biomedical research has recently been inaugurated by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi in Hyderabad. Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandra Chut inaugurated 10 district court digitization hubs in which particular state. So recently our Chief Justice of India has inaugurated these 10 district court digitization hubs in the state of Odisha. Uh, here is one homework for you. You have to tell me at least the name of 5 schemes from the state of Odisha that are in use these days. Also you have to remember that D.Y. Chandrachud is the 50th Chief Justice of India. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the All India Institute of Ayurveda in which, in which particular state. So the All India Institute of Ayurveda has been inaugurated in the state of Goa. Mopa Greenfield International Airport which was recently inaugurated is situated in which Indian state. So this airport lies in Goa state. The Regional Research Institute of Yunani Medicine which is the first in the northeast is inaugurated in which Indian state. So recently this institute has been inaugurated in the state of Assam. Kaming Hydropower Station which was inaugurated recently is located in which Indian state or the Union Territory. So it lies in Arunachal Pradesh. Okay. Also there is one more airport from the state of Arunachal Pradesh that has been inaugurated recently and the name of their airport is Donye Polo Airport. Prime Minister inaugurated ONGC's U-Field onshore facilities in which Indian state? This is Andhra Pradesh. Okay. So these are the few and recent inaugurations that we have to remember. And uh, if you want to introduce any new category, please give me the suggestion in the comments box and I would like to consider it. Okay. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide, you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two, three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Minuzad Sana signing off.